I want to read uh, Psalm number 8, which may be one of our favorite psalms. Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory in the heavens. Through the praise of children and infants, you have established a stronghold against your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is mankind? That you are mindful of them, human beings that you, are, that you care for them. You have made them a little lower than angels. You crowned them with glory and honor. You made them rulers over the works of your hands. You put everything under their feet, all flocks and herds, and the animals of the wild, the birds in the sky, and the fish in the sea, all that swim the paths of the seas. Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Our next hymn is All Glory, Love, and Honor. We can follow it on the screen.
Please join me and let us pray together. Most gracious God, our Heavenly Father, yes, all glory, love, and honor are due to you. For you are the all loving, almighty God, who is all present with his people, especially when they are going through challenges. We come to you this morning and we lift up our praises and worship to you, for you are the only God who cared enough that he sent his one and only Son, so that by faith in him we may have life and have eternal life. We thank you for this day, the day in which we celebrate the coming of your Son into Jerusalem, the city of peace that knew no peace. So we welcome you in our hearts, in our lives, in our church, to come and save us and help us to live and do always to glorify you. We thank you for your son, for his courage to go until the end, even to face death at the hands of those who were his enemies. We pray as he taught us to pray by saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Well, good morning again and happy Palm Sunday to each and every one of us. I welcome you uh, to our uh, church service this morning, those of us who are in the sanctuary in person worshiping God. And we know that there are others who are worshiping from their homes. What a blessed day for all of us to gather together and see what God is doing in our lives and in the life of our families and especially in the life of our children who are faced with so many challenges. Uh, I want to thank you for following the CDC rules and regulations as you come into the sanctuary. And isn't it nice that to hear that the vaccines are out and many of us are getting vaccinated, it feels like safer a little. We hope that all of us will take the one shot or the two shots and with this virus will be behind us. Couple of announcements. Potter's Fellowship is meeting this Tuesday, March the 30th at 7, uh, 30, 7.30 at 7 o'clock via Zoom. They are studying the work, uh, the book by Dr. Charles Stanley. It's about waiting on God. It's not an easy subject, but I hear uh, the women are benefiting quite a lot. The Monday and Thursday communion service will take place this coming Thursday, April the 1st at 7.30 in our church in person and live stream on the church Facebook page. Please, those of us who will be participating in the service from home, have the bread, the wine, or the juice ready to partake. Those of us who will come here, we will give you a pre, uh, prepared wine, juice, and bread. The AMC, AMAA, all for Arts Art campaign is going very well. I am glad to announce that we have raised so far 16,000 and plus. Our goal is to meet, to be able to raise 25,000 and to match it with another 25 from our church. I want to thank all of, all of us who made their contributions and I invite those who have not done yet. It's about participating in this fundraising, matching fundraising, and it's important that all of us participate as we raise this amount. As to summer's uh, schedule, the first Armenian Church at Belmont will close in July, and our church will close in August. I want us also to take time here or in our homes to pray for our church members, 
especially those who are going through physical challenges. And I want to mention only two. Uh, Haiduvi Orchanian, she leads our prayers. Also Hilda uh, Tatyosa, she leads our prayers. She's in the hospital since the last couple of days. Both of them need our prayers and encouragement. Also pray to God for our Sunday school children and their parents. Pray for the college students, adults, seniors, leaders of our church. Pray for our country. Especially pray for those who lost loved ones uh, through the shootings that happened a week ago. Let's pray for the families and ask God to comfort each and every one of them. And these beautiful flowers on the altar this morning are given to God's glory by Berge and Ani Chekijian in loving memory of Berge's mother, Armen V. Chekijian. Armeni was a long time active member in the church, especially in the ladies' aid. We will certainly remember her. And now I'm so happy to call on and invite the Sunday school children to make their presentation and talk to us about caring ministry. Please come forward. In 2020, our Sunday School started a new ministry calling, called Caring Ministry, which aims to pass on God's love and caring to others. What motivates us to be part of this Sunday School Caring Ministry is the idea of working together with friends to help fulfill what God has planned for us. He has blessed us with many blessings, and we want to share them with others by preparing meals or buying non-perishable items and giving them to the Watertown Food Pantry. As we learn from Philippians 2.13 says, For it is God who works who works in you to, to will and act in order to fulfill his good purpose. On Good Friday 4 to 21, we'll have our fourth caring ministry to prepare food for 15 individuals or small families. We ask our congregation to help us with the names of individuals or small families to extend the love and care of Christ. So please provide their names and contact info to the church office so we can share them, so we can share with them a hot meal, dessert, and a Bible verse. First Corinthians 10:31. Whether you eat, drink, or drink, or whatever you will do, do it all for the glory of God. As Jesus entered Jerusalem, he declared that he is the King of Kings. Matthew 21, 1-3 says, As they approached Jerusalem and came to Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and at once you will find a donkey tied there with her colt by her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, say that the Lord needs them, and he will send them right away. Matthew 21, 6 to 9, the disciples went and did as Jesus had instructed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and placed their cloaks on them for Jesus to sit on. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and those who followed shouted, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven.
Jesus entered Jerusalem, he declared that he is the king who brings peace, for he is the prince of peace. Luke 19:37-38. When he came near the pal when he came near the place where the road goes down to the Mount of Olives, the whole crowd of disciples began joyfully to pr to praise the God in loud voices for all the miracles they had seen. Blessed the King who comes in the highest name of Lord, peace in the, peace in heaven and glory in the highest. entered Jerusalem, he declared that he is the victorious king. Psalm 24, 7, 10. Lift up your heads, you gates. Be lifted up, you ancient doors, that the king of glory may come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, you gates. Lift them up, you ancient doors, that the king of glory may come in. Who is he, this king of glory? The Lord almighty, he is the king of glory. As Jesus entered Jerusalem, he declared that is the king who is worthy of our praise. Psalm 103, verses 1 to 5. Praise the Lord, my soul, all my inmost being, praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion, who satisfies your desires with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Sunday school children for their presentation and also for their training ministry. Please provide them with names of individuals or families so that the food that they prepare they can uh, to them this coming Friday on Good Friday. What a good way to reach out to uh, the church members who are bound in their homes. This morning, the Armenian's uh, scripture lesson is taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 11. And the reading is first 10 verses. This is Mark chapter 11, verses 1 to 10. Uzem Gartal, Margosi Abidaranin Das Megavor Kurchen, Hamarner Megen Dasa. Margos Abidaran, Das Megavor Kurch, Skeselo Varachin Amaren. Yep, Yerusalem in Modetsan, Pet Pake, Upetania Tebitit and Yatsler. Isus is a shagatera near Bukha or gets a zero. Katse Kaitimatsi Kura. Amor match but no pes. Vidicatne Gabbats Avanaka. Borobra Martin Stache. Artsagets exaniga Uperek. Yet a negre sets as it a I think shanek. The seg. Devo Chabetke. Yet shoot no hospital against Aniga. Katsin. Yer Katana Managa, Tours of Ozimich, Tronico Gafats, U Arzagetzin Zaniga. 
Եվ հոմ գայնորդեն ոման գսին անոնց, ինչու հացագի այդ ավանայդը, անոն գսին, անոնց ինչպես իսուս բատվիրեր էր, որ իրենց թող դվին։ Եվ ավանակ իսուսի պեղին, անոր վրա իրենց հանտրեսները դրին, ու նստավ անոր վրա։ Չադեր իրենց հանտրեսները ճամպուն վրա գպրային, եվ ուրջներ ձարեր են ժուղեր դգտեին, ու ճամպուն վրա գլարազեին։ Արջվեն ու երևեն կացողները գաղաղագեն ու � ովսանդա իր պարձումս։ Այսօր ձագզարդի հիրագի է։ Քրիստնական որայցությին համացայն։ Ձագզարդը կարևոր որ է, որով է դեվային գնիշատակե Հիսուսի վերջին մուտքը երուսահեմ։ Ուր ժողովութին մեծ պազմությունում � իր աչվեն են էվեն կացոմեր կահաղագեին ու գսեին ովսանը, որ մեզ հիմա ազատեր են շանագեր, նաև գսեին որդնիալ է անբոր դերոչը անունով ուկա։ Սարկազարդի որը Հիսուսի երգային գյանքին և առակերության վերջին շապտվան ամենեն գարևոր, սեկան ամեն է տժվար որերը։ Մի քանի որեր եկ Հիսուսը գիտիցեր բագալեին, խաչին տատապարդեին, ձաղարեին, չարճավեին և էրջապես խաչին մահով վսվանդեին։ Ուշակրավ է, որ երբ Հիսուս երուսահեն � թրգիչինը կաղաքական ազատարը մգսպասեին։ թրգիչնը կամ ազատարանը որ գիտի կար և զիրենք հրոմայական գասուրդեն են դամ ազատեր։ զիրենք անոնց կաղաքական և զինվորական ծանը լուծեն գիտի ազատեր։ Աստծո խորորդադույին է գսպասեին, խորորդադում է, որ ոչտված գիտելար պարձ էր կիտությունով և զարկացումով։ Եվ անիր կարովը անոնց երկնային և հոգ է մտավոր ժշմարդություններ իդի հայքներ և սորգեցներ։ Ոմանք Այս մեծ ուրախությունով թիմաբորոներում ողքին գային նաև ուրիշներ, որոնց հագնգալությունները դարպեր էին, անոնց մեկ եշենք պարեսեցիները, անոնց հագնգալությունները շատ դարպեր էին, անոնք Հիսուսեն գխնդրեին, � Իրենց են թարգվեր և հետեք ապար, որբես ստրիանելու թակավոր թիմավորողները հան թիմաներ և լրեր լրեցին էր։ Այդ որ, որ կնալ Հիսուս ոմաց հագնգարդուները կոհացուց, դա գավի մուրիշներս ու սախապ եղավ։ Այսօր Մենք, որ հառաչիկա որելու թերքերուն ձանոտ ենք, կաչ գիտենք, թե ով էր Հիսուս, կաչ գիտենք, թե ինչուր եկավ, կաչ գիտենք, որ անոր ինչ մատարիցան։ Ավելի կարևորը, Հիսուս կաչ գիտեր, թե ինք ով էր, Հիսուս կա� Հիսուս պախուս չէ դվա, իր ճամթան չէ տոխեց, աղշկարնագեց երտալ երուսարը։ Հագարակցինք սպասող տժվարություններում, 
Kutasin kuti mapner. Petrosin kuti uranar. Süt veganer, süt vegayi tünel bir diday. Zimvormersin kuti zavayin yev çarçarayin yev xatşin hansmayin. Asov hantiyerts. An yegab Yerusalem. Kanats minchev xatş. Bats inchu. Borobe devan ays polur antunets. Borbesi Kezi yev inci, merom şun olur. Havat kimi çatsov turgutyum var kelir. Ayu zagazarti olur. Yev İsus Yerusalem gemet mir. Darper marter yev darper kum perir. Me darper akmkar tünler mi? İsk astvat İsusi hamar zelakir mumir. Հիսուս աստուծող ծրագիրը իրագործել նախաբադի ամենեն գարեգոր է սեպեց քան մարտերու կամ խնդերու ագնգալով թունելը խոհացնել Հիսուս քաչ գիտեր թե աստուծո իրեն վստահած ծրագիրը իրագործելու եւ ամբողջացնելու համար եկած էր այդ գադարելու եկած էր Եվ այդ նրա մեր փրկությունը ապահովեց։ Եվ այդ իրագործած լավ վստահությունը ու խաչին վրա է լսալ ամեն փան գտարվեցավ։ Աստծո իրեն վստահած ծրագիրը իրագործեց ամբողջացուց։ Այս բոլորին դիմաց մենք ինչ պիտի որոշենք են այդ Իսուսի մեզի համար գադարածը ինչպես պիտի արժեւենք Մեր գյանքը ինչպես պիտի արժեւենք Մեր գյանքը գիտնալով այս բոլորը ինչպես պիտի արժեւենք Գիտեք այս գյանքը որ գապենք գարջ է այսօր հոսել է բաղը չկա Ուրեմն են որոշելու են թե մեր գյանքը ինչպես պիտի արժեւենք Մարդ մանավանդ հավիտանականությունն ու ու պիտի անցնենք Ջեսուսը զեր Հիսուսի հետ է լավ Let us listen to the next hymn Hosanna in the highest and after that I will call on Carol Trio to uh, make an announcement about Church is alive program
morning, everyone. Um, I'm Carol Trio. I'm coming to talk to you a little bit about, real quick, about the Churches Alive program. Uh, but first, I want to thank the girls. Do I need the mic? First, I want to thank the girls for their mission and ministry. This is so important and, and so critical. And I'm really, we should all be very proud of all the work you're doing. Churches Alive program had to go on a little bit of a pause because of the pandemic, but now we're back and we're gonna get started again. I just wanted to point out to you, in the folder, we're going into the next phase of the, of the program where we're gonna really start presenting back or sharing with the congregation all the information that was gathered during our meetings with the members of the congregation and the information that was gathered by the independent assessor who came in and looked at all aspects of our congregation. So this is, these are important meetings. We really need everybody's participation. After Easter, an email will be going out. These will be Zoom meetings. Unfortunately, we're still not ready to meet in person. But we'll have Zoom sessions. You're all encouraged to attend. It's going to give us you a chance to hear what the congregation has been saying, their views. And this is all about the discernment of the future of our church. And these girls are a testament to what the future of our church can be. So please uh, take a look at this, expect an email uh, with links to the Zoom events after Easter, and we look forward to having these discussions with you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Carol. Let's take a moment and pray together. Most gracious God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for you are alive and well, and you continue to work 24-7, and you call us to follow your lead, to follow your example, knowing that we may not know what the future holds for us, but you do. And we, are, we trust you for our present lives, maybe more importantly about what comes next. We thank you for every person who is here this morning. We come with our concerns, cares, and challenges, and joys. We come to fellowship with you, to commune with you, and to commune and fellowship with one another. Share our challenges and our joys knowing that that's what you want, that we do. This morning we remember Armen Vichekichan and give you thanks for her life. We thank you for her love to you, to your church, and to her family and friends. And we ask that you visit the family and give them your comfort and your peace at this time. And once again, help us to trust that all who put their trust and faith in you, that is not an end, but it's a beginning. We also pray for Haigui Orchenian and Hilda Tetosian. They each has their own fight with diseases. So we ask that you give them enough strength to do so and be with their families and loved ones as they do their best for them. Our hearts and minds and prayers go with all the families who lost loved ones because of the shootings that happened a week ago. Yes, we are living in a world which is not always safe, but still we can look around and see how we can be safe and help others to be safe. We pray for our church, for the Potter's Fellowship, for the Monday and Thursday communion service, for the AMC, AMAA, all for Arts of Campaign. And we pray for one another. Especially we pray for our children, the young, the youth, who are our futures, the future of our church. We ask that you bless each one of us and help us to move forward with our lives, always following in your steps. 
We pray all this in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to read to us from Matthew chapter 21, verses 1 to 9. Matthew ch chapter 21, verses 1 to 9. As they, that is Jesus and his disciples, approached Jerusalem and came to Bethphage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and at once you will find a donkey tied there, with her coat by her. Untie them, and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, say that the Lord needs them, and he will send them right away. This took place to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet. Say to the daughter Zion, See, your king comes to you, gentle, and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. <clears throat> the disciples went and did as Jesus had instructed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and placed their cloaks on them for Jesus to sit on. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and those that followed shouted, Hosanna to, to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred and asked, Who is this? The crowds answered, this is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. Palm Sunday marks the beginning of the last week of Jesus' earthly life and ministry. Within one week, he will be betrayed by one of his disciples, denied by another, tried on false charges, found guilty, crucified on a cross between two thieves, buried in a borrowed tomb, and three days later, rise from the dead, all in one week. Fred Craddock, a professor of preaching, says, I quote, the triumphal entry was a parade a protest and a funeral procession. He continues to say, we have all seen the nature of the event as a parade, with the crowd shouting their praises to God. Perhaps we could understand this event as a protest, but most importantly, it was also a funeral procession. Only Jesus knew this, only Jesus knew that this was the beginning of the end, end of quote. We may not have looked at it that way, but Palm Sunday was a funeral procession. Jesus knew that the cheering would stop very soon. On Sunday, they shouted Hosanna and treated him like the king of the Jews. On Friday, they hung him on a cross and put a sign saying the king of the Jews. Up to this point in Jesus' public life and ministry, he had quietly slipped in and out of places. Whenever a crowd gathered around him and wanted to proclaim him king, he quietly slipped away. But this time, when he was approaching Jerusalem, it was different. And there were at least three responses that we should consider. First response was the response of obedience. Jesus gave command to two of his disciples 
that they were to go to the village ahead and there they will find the donkey tied up with its foal. They were to untie them and bring them to him. The two disciples obeyed Jesus and obeyed his instructions. They did not question, they did not object. They did not ask for an explanation for further instructions. They never asked, as many do, what is it in me? What is it for me? They simply obeyed. They did not ask Jesus to give them instructions. They simply obeyed. They did what Jesus told them, even when it did not make much sense to them. One pastor said about this, I quote, We must follow Jesus because he is Lord, not just because of what he can do for us. We must follow Jesus because he is Lord, not just because of what he can do for us. I can give you tons of examples of people saying to us, we prayed, but God did not heal our son, our spouse, or someone else. And they turned back on God. The quote is, we must follow Jesus because he is Lord, not just because of what he can do for us. What is obedience? Obedience is a sign of true discipleship. Obedience is a sign of a right relationship with Jesus that is characterized by trust. John the Evangelist recorded Jesus saying to his disciples, if you love me, you will obey my commands. Through their obedience, the disciples showed that they loved Jesus. The response of obedience, the response of worship. The disciples arrived back with the donkey and its fall, and Jesus came riding into Jerusalem. A very large, large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road to honor Jesus as a victorious king. The crowds shouted, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. They declared that Jesus was the king who came with the name and the authority of God. So they worshiped him as king and savior. They rejoiced and praised him. And finally, obedience Worship Jesus. People asked, who is this? Some in the crowd sang, sang his praise while others were curious as who Jesus was. People wanted to know. So they asked, who really was this man who was coming to Jerusalem in such a manner? Who was this man who stirred up such a commotion? Jesus' entry into Jerusalem shook the city. He stirred up the people and aroused their curiosity. While the answer they got to their curiosity was only partially true. Yes, it was true that Jesus was from Nazareth of Galilee, but he was not a prophet. He was more than a prophet. Jesus never claimed to be anything other than the Son of God, the Savior of the world. Jesus never claimed to be anything other than the Son of God, the Savior of the world. When Jesus asked Peter, who do you say that I am? Peter answered, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. The crowd saw a king for a day but missed seeing Jesus as the Son of God. The crowd saw a king for a day, 
but missed seeing Jesus as the Son of God. What about us? The real meaning of Palm Sunday for us can be found in the question, who is this? Who is Jesus? This question is perhaps the most important question in life. Philip Yancey, a Christian best-selling author, one of my favorite authors, begins, begins his book entitled The Jesus I Never Knew. We have not read it. I recommend that you do. The Jesus I Never Knew. He says, I first got acquainted with Jesus when I was a child singing Jesus Loves Me in Sunday School. Addressing bedtime prayers to dear Lord Jesus. Watch Bible club teachers move cut out figures across a flannel graph board. I associated Jesus with cool air and sugar cookies and gold stars for good attendance. This Jesus, he says, was a lot like Mr. Rogers. You all remember Mr. Rogers. But what about us? Do we see the glory of Jesus, but miss that he is the Son of God, and miss that he was nailed, nailed to the cross for our sake? When Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem, two of his disciples obeyed him. A crowd worshipped him and praised him, while others were curious were curious as to who Jesus was. What about us? What's our response to Jesus and his coming? Who do we say Jesus is? Will we see Jesus coming into Jerusalem and going all the way up to the cross to sacrifice his own life? Obey and praise him as our personal Lord and Savior. And when people, out of their curiosity, ask us about Jesus, we know enough to tell them who he is. Philip Yancey quotes Napoleon, saying these words about Jesus, I quote, Everything in Christ astonishes me. His spirit impresses me, and his will amazes me. Between him and whoever else on the world, there is no possible term of comparison. He is truly a being by himself. I search in vain in history to find the similar of Jesus Christ or anything which can approach the gospel. Neither history, nor humanity, nor the ages, nor nature offer me anything with which I am able to conquer it or to explain it. And he ends by saying, here everything is exceptional. <laughs> Meaning Jesus is exceptional. The real meaning of Palm Sunday is between us and God. What kind of Jesus are we looking for? We still ask the question, who is this? And our answer makes all the difference. What is our answer? A church banner says it best, I quote, someone once told you about Jesus. Who have you told lately? Someone once told you about Jesus. Who have you told you lately? Now that we heard the message about who Jesus is, it's up to each of us to share it with others, with words and with deeds. What we need to remember is this. It's not up to us to direct the outcome of our witness. Only to offer it to others, 
as an invitation of faith. We need to remember this. It's not up to us to direct the outcome of our witness, only to offer it to others as an invitation of hope. In other words, we are each called to walk our talk and use words only when it is necessary. Our next contemporary hymn answers the question, who is Jesus? Before we listen, I want to share a couple of verses from the hymn. Who is he in the younger stall? At whose feet the shepherds fall, didst the Lord, oh, a wondrous story, it's the Lord, the King of glory. At his feet we humbly fall, crown him, crown him, Lord of all. Who is he, the people bless, for his words of gentleness? This the Lord, oh, a wondrous story, this the Lord, the King of glory. At his feet we humbly fall. Crown him, crown him, Lord of all. Who is he, the gathering throng? Greet with loud triumph song. This the, the Lord, all oh, wondrous story. This the Lord, the King of glory. At his feet we humbly fall. Crown him, crown him, Lord of all. Who is he who from his throne rules to all the worlds alone? This the Lord, a wondrous story. This the Lord, the King of glory. At his feet we humbly fall. Crown him, crown him, Lord of all.
sing the harmony together. Zeko Yarkaikyun, Yevzorutyun, Yepal, Habitian, and Sabidian, it's on them. They were ordinates as their Bahenses. They were in Temke by the Ratsanetzer, Brayev Bohomitzes. They were in Yeveser Bertsanetzer, Brayev Havahutun Bansis. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all, now and always. Amen.